What's going on, everybody? We is live. What's going on, everybody? Sorry for my little sweaty tight out here. It's almost 100. I got my fan running on the other side, so if it gets annoying or if, it, uh, if the mic is catching, if the fan's catching the mic, whatever, let me know. I'll go turn the fan off because I have a mic sitting right here. So hopefully y'all can hear me. How's everything going? Can I get an audio, video, audio, everything? Can y'all hear me just fine? Trying something different this time. I'm actually on a Mac. I was going to have a second screen set up, but I didn't know that that second screen didn't work. So I'm on the one screen right now. They're kind of fuzzy. Uh oh. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll turn my light on. Give me one second. Guys, give me one second. I'll turn my light on. Oh, my light is on. I got lots of lights on. All right. All right. Phew. Out of focus. What? Chris Morgan, how you doing? Keith, what's going on? Humberto. How hot is it here? It's almost 100 at about 15% humidity. I'm styling. <laughs> HM Auto Detailing, what's going on? 80% humidity. I wouldn't know what to do if it got past 20% where I'm at. It, it's usually single digit humidity this week, is what it normally is. But it's getting hot up here. 37 in Toronto. It's got to be cold. That's some like. Almost good de detail weather, almost. I like it when it's cold. Ninety degrees here and tornado warnings. Ooh, I've never seen a tornado. So it's a, uh, and I've barely felt an earthquake, and I've lived in California my whole life. No hot ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So what I want to do is I want to bring in a co-host I have today. Uh, normally it's Eric, Pop Smurf, but for some reason he has a birthday party going on. I don't know, ditching us for his birthday. Then we got the part-time Rick. He, uh, he may be with us next week when I have Lex Garage. I have Lex Garage next week, I think, uh, Rick will be joining us then. So this week, because his check cleared, he paid for this uh, TV time. I want to bring in a good friend, Mr. Fred from Glove Up Detail. What's Fred, up, everybody? Hey. What's up, Mike? How are you, bud? Uh, you know, living it up, one sweat at a time. I know, the shirt. I know that feeling. Yeah. Cool. Detail. New glove box special. Yeah. Okay, you guys had some uh, some of the actual detail or the glove box detail shirts on sale yesterday. Yeah, we we had a few things on sale. I don't know what's left after that sale. We got oh, no. cleaned, cleaned out pretty good. I know I went in there yesterday to get some of the older boxes and they're all sold out, sold out, sold out. I'm like, man, yeah. things must have gone quick. Yeah, we had one guy buy five boxes. Holy Toledo! Yeah. How, how did uh, did your river subside? Are you still out there swimming? No, it's you wouldn't even know it today that we had so much rain. So it, wow. it's been sunny, sunny and drying up everything. My neighbor's Toyota Rav Four was up to the door with water. Mm. So it rained a lot and it rained fast. That happened in like an hour. So it came down really, really quick. Holy, that, that quick, huh? Mm hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. And then uh, I happened to be in downtown Chicago when it happened, and there's a tornado that was coming through the city, which is to my 44 years on this planet has never happened. Mm. Uh, it ended up hopping over the city and landing in Lake Michigan and turned into what they call a water spout. So it was like yeah. a, uh, a tornado over the water. So it was, it was pretty scary yeah. though, because we were right down there and there's nowhere to go. So that's crazy. 
Yeah, it was wild. So uh, your purple car, that's the first thing I thought of when I saw your river. So I was thinking about your purple car. Purple car is going to be Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. I was, I was working on it a little bit today, so that's why it's not covered. Nice. Big Jess Slinger, how you doing? He says, loving that detail firm soap from the last box. All you need is a few drops. That's, that's all you need. If you put more than if you put more than a half an ounce, you would make it snow in a hundred degree temperature outside. That stuff is so concentrated. It's a good oh, stuff. It's unreal, yeah. I'm loving it. Uh -huh. So what I'm gonna do is uh from I believe in New York, we got Nick from Synergy Works. He's gonna be our guest today. And I'm gonna bring him in. There he is. The one to see him go like this. I'm gonna put him over there, put him in the front. What's up, boys? What's going on? How you doing? What's up, Nick? Good man. What's going on with you guys? Oh, you know, started sweating. Yeah, me too. I got the AC pumping though. Oh, so, all right. That's what I really want. I need that in my garage. Then I'd feel I feel better. I in the garage too. Yeah, I just got uh, one of the AC units installed in my basement, and I'm doing the best I can by trying to get the AC flowing into the garage. It's been working out. It's definitely yeah. not a lot cooler than what it should be, but you know, it could always be a little bit better. So I'm thinking about putting another unit in the garage. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, good call. You're in Long Island, right? Yeah, Long Island. Yeah. So it's uh, weather says feels like 90 degrees today. Hurting us. And mm. I, I got by uh, my buddy Jesse here too. He works a lot with me, so What's I figured uh, let me bring him in. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse. How you doing? He's, he's Hi, good guys. on the camera, you know. He looks he looks better than yeah. I do. So. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a tech guy, huh? A charger installed. Uh, yeah, no, he, he's pretty much my, my heavy lifter, so pretty much anything that I don't want to do, I have uh, Jesse do. So. <laughs> <laughs> I do the dirty work. Does the dirty work for me. Yeah. You know? what's, what's your position at Synergy Works? Jesse? No, yours. Oh, me, me. Uh, I, I'm actually the guy that runs it, believe it or not. Uh, I am the owner of it, uh, partners okay. with my buddy and actually neighbor, Kenny, uh, who's not with us today. He's a little camera shy, but um, he's my partner in the business, and we were actually neighbors we started out as, and I was here first, minding my own business, and then all of a sudden, Kenny decided to move in with his uh, GTR and his Porsche and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Kept going up and down the block, making a whole bunch of noise until I finally flagged him down. And we've been uh, friends and now business partners ever since. So that's how that story went. Nice. Cool. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So when did you guys officially go into business? Um, late 2018, early 2019, because we debuted at the New York Auto Show um, to Javits Center, which is mm -hmm. a really good time. Um, we kicked off there. like That was our first debut. Um, we set up a table in a booth. We had uh, three cars in our booth. We had a Bugatti Chiron, we had a McLaren P1, and then we had an Indy car. Um, that was really cool stuff. Auto show was popping then. You know, it was pre-COVID. Um, we did thousands of dollars of sales in a day, and nobody knew who we were. They, they knew of us, you know, as far as who I am and, and who Kenny is and stuff like that, but not who Stingy Works was. It helped the fact that we had a Bugatti and a McLaren P1 sitting behind us. We drew, drew some attention, you know, marketing 101. And For then... Sure, uh, yeah. It worked out, and then yeah, so everything um, pretty much been flowing since then. Uh, it's been going really, ni really nice and really good. And obviously, listen, COVID happened. Uh, I think everybody in the world got hit by it, but pretty much you could sit on the side of the road and wait for somebody to hand you something, or you could keep going. And we decided to keep going, and that's what we're doing. So I know New York got hit pretty hard with the COVID, basically shut everything down. What what made you what made you guys survive through? Probably what, for about a six to eight months span. That was pretty tough over there. Yeah, I mean, I would say the most impactful thing that we had was we actually got a contract with an insurance company from Uber um, that contacted us and said, hey, you know, COVID's obviously happening. Is there anything that you guys can offer to our drivers to ensure the safety of them, It'll give them a little reinsurance, and also give some reassurance to the customers? Uh, that are going to be riding in the seat in the, in the Ubers and what can you do for us kind of thing. So we pretty much got in contact. We went back to the, uh, the, the glove box herd P1 looks like um, we uh, got in contact with our chemist and we, we pretty much sat down at the table and said, what can we do? And we came up with a product. Actually, I'll show you a quick called uh, defense spray, which is, uh, oh, yeah. that's yeah. some good stuff too. 
Yeah, it's a disinfectant spray, and it definitely does its job as far as breaking stuff down that's not supposed to be there. Uh, you could use it on your laptop, your phone, your desk, the car interior, your kitchen, your bathroom. It's a really nice product, and it smells really nice, too. It's got, like, an apple scent to it. So that's what we came out with, and um, we had to – and I called it a remedy kit. That's just what came to my mind when it came to it. So we put together, I think, uh, 5,000 – uh, 5,000 remedy kits twice, which is four different products. We did defense spray. We did all-purpose cleaner, uh, interior detailer, and we did glass cleaner. So I feel like those were like the interior, quote-unquote, type of products that you can mm -hmm. use. Um, obviously, the star of the show being the defense spray, considering the situation. And, yeah, so we moved 10,000 remedy kits, and that kept us alive. I, I guess you can say it definitely uh, helped us out get the name out there, you know? So Uber supplied that to their drivers or their drivers came by and got it from you? Actually, we supplied it to the insurance company that insures oh. Uber. And then the drivers in the area, you know, they sent out the email blast and said, hey, we want you guys to keep driving. Um, come by and scoop up a send you work remedy kit and keep it going. You know, so that's what they did. And they moved it. And it was they moved so fast, obviously, in the beginning. I need this phone charger. Um, and they did the second order and then that was in so that was a good three to six months span of, of that project and that was uh it was pretty cool you know because when that call came in you know there was only let's say four or five of us in the business right mm -hmm. and they were like hey like we need five thousand kits times four which is twenty thousand if i'm doing right twenty thousand bottles we need it in about two or three weeks and we're like Okay, and then to obviously find that kind of material, the bottles, get the labels, get the nozzles. The nozzles was a headache. Um, yeah. The boxes, everything was hard because of COVID. You know, we, we, yeah. you couldn't just go on and order like you normally could. We had to pull strings, and thankfully, Kenny, um, his main business is an IT company. He's very tech savvy, and he really put the work in. He actually came through big time when it came to finding all these raw materials and um, – building that Synergy Works product in order to supply that demand. So it was uh, it was a fun project and we delivered and it was cool. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. It, and we, we started talking to Nick over the winter about his products and we really, really liked what they were doing with the defense spray. So we included that in the, the March Club box. Yeah, we did that in the, in the mystery box. Dynamite box. product. Yeah. So yeah, we're... I very think I saw a review that, that some guys said it worked great on tires, and I was like, "Hmm." I was like, "Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> not for that, but yeah, sure, run with it." They uh, the 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 tires used... getting sick. Yes, yeah, I'm saying. Like, this is like those <laughs> tires, you know? I used the heck out of it I, when I got that, and I first picked that. I was like, I had no idea what it was for. Yeah. Then I, I kind of put it up to the side, and then I kind of looked at it again. Eventually, yeah. like, oh, this I know what this is for, and I used it. Yeah, yeah God, I mean, I, it's a useful product, you know, like if you're just chilling at the office and like some nasty dude comes up to you and sneezes all over you and stuff like, you know, regardless, you could always you could use it all the time. Like I use it to clean, you know, dust and fingerprints off my TVs, you know, the laptops, like I said. So it's going to be useful beyond of just COVID. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's good stuff. So what was uh, some, what are some of your first products that you guys first started with? Like when you were at this car show, yeah, came into business, you probably had a handful of products. What were they? Uh, so we pretty much had everything. Um, we started the business with 10 products. I wanted 10 products. I, I'm just a little OCD. That's why I'm in the detail industry. I thought 10 was a good number. And we had, you know, your glass cleaner, your interior detail, your all-purpose cleaner, um, your detail spray, which is one of my favorite products, your wheel, uh, and I think I said wheel cleaner already. Um, your car shampoo at the time, we had a product called spray sealant at the time as well, but it was a dated product and I wish we never released it, but it is what it is. It's, it was like a spray wax, but a little bit stronger, but the way the industry has been going with ceramics, it's kind of become forgotten about, you know? So yeah. that product is actually just, we're discontinued that product and we actually discontinued the original car shampoo too, which we replaced with, uh, which I'll just show you guys quick. The uh, Supreme Suds, which is like your thick soap, and it really gets those suds out of the wants. Yeah, it's really effective, too. You know, when you put it in the foam crown and the foam gun, it really puts out a nice layer of, of foam. 
And then the spray sealant we replaced with ceramic detail spray because, again, like I said, the industry is going ceramic. You know, I feel like everybody you talk to now is like, hey, like, did you get your car ceramic coated? Um, what kind of ceramic coating are you using? What do you use for a boost? Stuff like that. So this coating, this is great because you can use it as a, stand, as a standalone product or you can use it as your boost for somebody who got their coating and uh, you want to, let's say you're detailing it for them, you go behind it with it, it pretty much rejuvenates that coating and brings it back to life. So it's cool stuff. I used both of those products yesterday. Yeah, you're nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Umberto has a question on that defense spray. Is that good on all screens? Uh, you said all screens? Yes, because he was asking, uh, go back to the question. It says, is it safe for all types of screens? I'm going to say yes, because I think I've used it on a lot of screens, my personal self. Um, it, it's not, not an abrasive product. It's not going to, like, it's not like an all purpose cleaner where it's got an abrasive into it, you know, where it's going to break mm -hmm. things down. It's not necessarily doing that. It's more of a cleansing and, and, and disinfecting from the inside kind of thing. Um, but like I said, I used it on my laptop, my iPhone, my 55 inch TV. Um, I've used it on Jesse before, you know, <laughs> it just works really just, good. Just before the show. <laughs> yeah. So I sprayed them down real quick, you know, but, uh, no, it, it's a safe product. It's clean. Like, you, you know, it's good. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, so when did you guys come, you said you guys came out with this recently? Uh, this was end of 2018. We, we came up with the idea. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this, uh, the ceramic. The ceramic. That, was, that was about six to 12 months ago that came out. That was after COVID um, because we had to come up with some new products, stuff like that. Um, we released some other new products as well, which I'll we'll get to. And, and yeah, so we replaced the, the regular car shampoo with the Scream Suds, the spray sealant with the ceramic detail spray. And I think we have a nice line of 16 ounce products that anybody could use for regular standard detailing when it comes down to uh, the everyday job, you know, because I was big into having products that are gonna be just as good for the consumer that puts out professional expectations because I have a detailing business as well and I'm very OCD and I wanna make sure my stuff is the best of the best and I'm my biggest critic. So if it works for me, it's gonna work for anybody else. So that's the only thing I could pretty much uh, assure. I mean, I don't know who I am to people, but hey, it's good. <laughs> Yeah, no, but you, you've got a lot of roots in the automotive space with dealerships and all that, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm a so you, you have your name out there, and if you aren't behind that, then, you know, you guys yeah. wouldn't have gotten as far as you are now, so for sure. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's just it's a lot of time in the day. Uh, not enough time in the day uh, is probably a better thing to say. And you just try to make the best out of it, you know what I mean? It's It's been going very good, but as you guys both know, I mean, you got to just keep it going. Yeah. So. So what what scent is your supreme scent? What scent is this? Uh, I would say more of like a berry scent. Okay. Um, berry scent, definitely. The the blue detail spray. I'm not sure if you, if I sent you about all that. That that's a really nice berry scent as well. I was big into the smells, man. When I first came out with everything, I wrote down all the colors and the smells, and I was pretty much graphing everything together of what would do what. You know, like my wordless wash is obviously bananas. You know, like how do you not make it yeah, yeah. if it's yellow? You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, e not for nothing, even the wheel cleaner doesn't have a harsh smell. I, I, I told the guys that I wanted to have something that isn't going to burn your eyes when you use it and need a hazmat suit to use it. So that, uh, that's been going good that's as well. Like the berry side of things, yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. Um, the interior detail, I did more of like a, a natural scent because some people like stuff, some people don't. And, uh, you know, that's, I was, I was big into it. I, I definitely spent a lot more time than I probably should have when it came to the science yeah, stuff. Yeah. So. But that's a big deal. It's the a ceramic total soap experience, is not right? Like, by the way. All right. Ceramic soap is not for the smelling. That, that's that's my own thing. <laughs> Loading up. Your nostrils probably are burning right now. I probably should have said that before, but. <laughs> no, it's not. No, I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not one I'm going to say, hey, like, smell it. You know, like how you would anything else, but. Yeah. <laughs> and I got your ceramic. Yeah, exactly. When I first got this one, at first to me, it smelled like candy. I'm like, man, that's. <laughs> Smells pretty damn good. Yeah, no, it definitely smells good. Like I said, because like I, I've been in the business for years, right? Been detailing since let's say I, I would probably say really focusing on detailing uh, was since like 2008, you know. Um, and I felt like every time you bought a new product, whether it's from Pet Boys, AutoZone, whatever, whatever you bought it from, you're always gonna smell it, right? You pop open that can of Carnauba wax, you're gonna take a whiff of it just because like that was what was natural to do. And 
I wanted to make sure when people smelled our products, besides like the all purpose cleaner and stuff like that, then it's gonna be like, wow, like this stuff smells great, you know? So the, the one thing that I was pretty, I, I liked it pretty good was the tire shine. Yeah. And the one thing I liked about it is when I put it on the applicator, I mean, it's thick enough to where it just, it's, it's just not gonna run everywhere. Yeah. When I put some on my applicator, I actually had to use my finger to spread it around just to get it everywhere. Sure. Uh, and But yeah, it's still easy to use to where when you put on the tire, it's still gonna spread around, which is, yep. I thought was pretty damn good. So how, how did you guys manage to get SIO2 infused tire shine? So pretty much when we were first doing this again, like I knew the way the industry was going as far as cer ceramic. Uh, I've been doing ceramic myself since like 2013. And let's say this was end of 2018 now. And I knew that these things were going. So when it came down to it, when we had our conversations with our chemists and we went through everything, you know, we picked this brain about what we can do, what we can't do. And SIO2 was one of the things that we could factor in some of the products. So um, Tire Shine got it. Uh, ceramic Detail Spray got it. The Ceramic Soap got it. But um, the Tire Shine is definitely, I would probably say, one of the top products that people are a fan of. Um, right? What are you saying? I mean, yeah. I mean, then like, even like off label, just using it for like engine bay cleanups. Um, I, I love putting it on like the plastics, some of the exterior trim. You know, I wouldn't say go so far as to like restore some of that stuff, but um, tires, engine plastics, all that stuff, it really is, uh, is super versatile and it looks great. Yeah, it's and again, like with the formula, if you read it on the back, I didn't want something to where you just spent your whole day or whole weekend detailing a car. You put your tire shine on, looks great. Drive around the block, it's all over the side of the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't want that. So for sure, I wanted something that left it behind, like a satin finish, a little bit of gloss. You know, like not not excessively, like tire, like like a car wash kind of gloss, where it's just all over the side. Um, I wanted something that's going to leave behind a nice gloss, but more of a satin finish that could be layered because it does dry out. Mm -hmm. you layer like a ceramic coating, which is why the SIO2 plays a factor. So after like an hour or so, you can hit it with another coat and it leaves it behind a nice shine. And then it's not going to sling anywhere. I mean, again, my partner, Kenny, he likes to do the, uh, the 150 mile per hour test when it comes to tire <laughs> shine. Uh, so what he does for fun, he just throws tire shine on his tires and then rips it up and down the road trying to see if it's going to sling it and it hasn't to this day. So uh, we might have to bump it up to 200 and we'll see it's in the works, but we'll see how it goes. Nice. Uh, Texas DD wants to know about your, your uh, wheel cleaner. Does it have an iron decon in it? Yeah. So uh, actually if you go to our Instagram right now, I actually just put a story up a couple hours ago uh, from our wheel cleaner in action. It's on a Porsche uh, Cayman GTS that we did a detail and if you actually look at the story, you'll see um, the first video is actually spraying it on, obviously. And then the second video is about 15, 20 seconds after, breaking down all those iron deposits, turning it nice and red safely. It's a satin finish in that wheel, so it's very safe. Um, again, if, if you leave that on there, let's say for 5, 10 minutes, you might have a bad time. You know, might be upset. You might be calling me say, why did my wheels get stained? But I might be saying, hey, like, you know. Common sense. How'd you use it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, but that's why I also spent days writing all of my instructions, such as wait 30 seconds before rinsing thoroughly with water. So, as long as you read that lot line, you should be having a good time. But uh, yeah, it's safe on, you know, pretty much all finishes. I haven't had a problem and I, we detail weekly. And again, like these are all tested products that we made sure were good until uh, that was in. And yeah, I see some people saying, some other products tend to smell a little bit. Again, like that was one of the things I wanted something that's not going to be that harsh on the nose because I wanted it to be more of an enjoyable experience and effective rather than turning your head away and just spraying it everywhere, you know? Nice. Yes, sir. So, wait, when you first started doing the detailing part business first, yep. what were the products you were using? Uh, so I was a big Pep Boys guy, you know, like when I first started it, uh, it was me and a couple buddies. We were like, yo, let's go start a detailing business. You know, what's, we're 18 years old. Let's, let's do it. You know, um, this is before Instagram, um, you know, Facebook was popular. YouTube was popular. I, I was big into watching, uh, Paul Dalton. Remember him? 
Oh yeah. And we know Paul. Who else? Uh, Junkman Garage. I don't know if you remember him as well. No, but, I don't know that one. So anyway, so that's pretty much where I was like, all right, let's, let's start with those guys. All right, let's go to the Pet Boys. Spent 500 bucks worth of whatever we can, you know, the Carnuba Wax, the Purple Tire Shine, I don't remember the, the exact name. But we, you know, we set it up like that. And then we came across Adam's, uh, Adam's Polishes, early stages, probably uh, about 10 years ago. And I'm good friends with those guys still, Matt over at Adam's and stuff like that. Um, they were some motivation behind us doing this as well. They were really good, and it was to the point where I pretty much stuck with them. And then, again, it was to the point where I have a good reputation, and people know me in the business. Why don't we try to do this ourselves? And it's been working out, and now we have a product line. So it's pretty cool. So you're, you're doing your detailing business. You're thinking about the idea of starting Synergy Works, and you had to have – uh, either a third party or a chemist, right, to get everything going for yourself? Mm -hmm. what, what, what happened there? So pretty much we had to make some calls and, and figure out where to start, you know, because it's not exactly like, hey, how to make how do you make this? You know what I mean? Like you eventually can do all that, but when you're in the industry and you have a lot of contacts and people to get in touch with, then people put you in the contact with the right people, and that's pretty much how good things happen, you know? So I'm, I'm more of a, it's not what you know, it's who you know kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, I've kind of been living my life like that because I'm not the smartest person in the room, unfortunately, but I'm definitely one of the hardest workers. And again, I just kind of put my, uh, I always try to do right by people. So God forbid if I ever need a, a favor, then they can hook me up. And that's where it came about. So is this chemist... Is he on your payroll, or is it just something you can call it and say, make something for me? A little bit of both. We have two currently. We have somebody from the outside making some, and then we have in-house as well now because we've been blowing up a little bit bigger. So we've been able to take that on to where we can bring it inside, and hopefully when the time comes, we could bring everything under, underneath one roof. But who's to say how long it's going to happen? Yeah. Sure. Is there anything new you guys are working on? I know ceramic well, is one thing but graphene is the next wave of stuff so as far as new our newest one we did our ceramic coating actually oh nice um which is graphene uh graphene ceramic coating as well um it's cool stuff so like you said graphene is definitely coming about in the industry now i think when ceramic came out early 2010 2011 like something around that time uh, where it became popular at least mm -hmm. people were like What's ceramic? You know, like I have wax, I have spray sealant, you know, I have my thicker sealant that lasts three to six months, six to 12 months, whatever. What's the ceramic? And then now it's like, I feel like you go to the car show and it's like, your car is not ceramic coated. Like, you yeah, yeah, yeah. are you even a car guy? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I feel like it was one of those things. So now graphene's being introduced and I think everyone's picking it apart the same way. And like, is this shit a gimmick? Is this bull? You know, like, what's graphene? How much better can it be? It's, it's snake oil. Like, all this kind of stuff. And, you know, I, I did my research, I checked it out, and I liked it. I think it's a lot easier to work with when it comes to applying and removing. Um, there are some kinks to it that I'm trying to weed out a little bit, like such as if you're applying it and let's say water touches it, let's say you do it after you wash the car. You should always let it dry, by the way, for anybody that's watching. Let it dry out, blow it all out, all that kind of stuff. But me being me, you know, like, let's try it out. Water just a little bit from a mirror, hit it, and unfortunately it, like, speeds up that curing time right away and you got to polish up that fender again so it kind of sucks so a little bit of trial and error but i found the sweet spots to the where after i did my testing for six to 12 months we um put it all as far as the best recommendations on the back of the box which you'll see everything written there completely nice and now it's pretty much going along really nice i mean now there's a lot of companies introducing graphene i think we were one of the the sooner ones to do it I could have done a lot sooner, but I was I was testing. I, I didn't want to release a product without doing it myself um, because I don't think that's morally right. Just to release something, I, sure. I want to make sure that it was that it was good. You know, like if I'm going to sell something to somebody, I want to make sure that it's something that I approve. And once I felt that it was the right move to do, we moved it forward with it. Uh, again, my partner Kenny put together these nice boxes and stuff. They slide open. Um, I, again, I'm really big into the whole like presentation kind of thing, which I think is really nice. No. It's got the fitment for the bottle, you know, because again, this is, this is uh it's a top tier product. It's, it's over a hundred bucks on our website. 
And I think people deserve to have a nice looking product when they get it. You know what I mean? So uh, I was always the kind of dude, like if you go to the mall and like you see the guy selling cologne, like I like for some reason looked at the cologne boxes and I was like, wow, this is a really cool box. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else does that, but yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, we think a glove box. Our our presentation is like one of our things that we really focus a lot yeah, on. Yeah, guys yeah. had that feel, so that's glove why we guys with you guys. Glove box is awesome, man. Like the way you guys do your your presentation, you have like your cards and stuff like that in there, and just like the 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 reminders and the introduction or whatever. I think it's really cool about the whole thing you guys got, and and I would say that glove box might have even uh, gave us some. Um, you know, motivation or, or, or guidance when it came to doing like a box like this, because I saw how neatly you guys had your stuff. I wanted to make sure that we delivered the same thing. Cause when we first did it, we did a couple different boxes that for other stuff that I was like, wow, oh, that's just not what I want. Like our name is Synergy Works Premium Car Care Products. Like I can't have mediocre car care boxes. You know what I mean? Like I gotta sure, have yeah. the best of the best, you know? And Presentation is key, just like D and D auto detailing said, and I think that goes a long way. And yes, it's uh, it's Forza, Forza ceramic coating, and I called it Forza because I grew up playing Forza. Um, a fun Forza. game. Yeah, it is a fun game. But if you actually Google Forza, because uh, when I was doing this again, I was having a tough time deciding what to call it and all that kind of stuff. But uh, Forza literally means force or power. So I thought, what's better than putting a force of power over your entire car, right? So I thought it was nice. I'm Italian. It sounds Italian. It's catchy. For it's sure. Right. Uh, how long does the Forza last? Do you so guys have Forza, any estimates on how long it holds up? Yeah, so Forza can last up to five years, I'd say. Um, but under certain circumstance, circumstances. That's sure, garage sure. kept. That's detailed, maintained, properly all that kind of stuff. Now, if you're leaving it outside and the sprinklers are hitting and the, the birds are crapping on it, you're like everything like that, and just ignoring it, you're going to get a year or two out of it. But if you're taking care of it, if you're on top of it, you're, you're doing your boost spray every six to 12 months, you're hitting it with the ceramic soap every six to 12 months, you're going to get to that five-year mark, no problem. <laughs> now, me personally, when ceramic coatings first came out, a lot of these coating companies said, hey, our stuff lasts five years, 10 years, it's unstoppable. It's un, you know, it's a force field. We're good. I always thought that was bullshit. In other words, yeah, um, I agree. I personally think a car has a car starts to look like it needs a detail regardless after about two years anyway. So I always tell my customers, hey, after that two year mark, you might want to redo it because of the way that it starts to look in general. Because I think a car can only hold up so long, no matter how many coats of ceramic on it or how much clear bra is on it. It's just over that two year mark, unless you're maintaining it so nice and it's not getting a lot of miles into like a Sunday driver, that's a different story. But if you're daily driving the car, it's gonna need some love after a couple of years, definitely. So is that ceramic detail spray, the chopper for that? Yeah, so pretty much, again, when I came with the Forza, I wanted to make sure this was comparable to it, which it was, because we already had this out. And pretty much this, this would be our boost spray, quote unquote, you know. Sure. Uh, there's other companies that have ceramic boost already in the name. So I just went with the classic ceramic detail spray because I felt like you can't really uh, mess that up, right? And then after that, again, like this could be used as your topper or it could be used as a standalone product um, to do that. So, for example, let's say you have a customer or if you're just not looking to do the whole ceramic coating kind of thing, uh, you could sell or you could do yourself a ceramic soap and a ceramic detail spray combo which get you, in my opinion, up to 12 months, if done properly, of protection, because this is loaded with SIO2, so is this, and when you put them together, they do a really nice job. So that's a really nice combo, but again, when it comes to maintaining a ceramic coating, that uh, those two are definitely the way it goes well. For sure. Yesterday, when I did a, a black, it was, I had black metallic paint, and I washed it with your, your suds, and then yeah. I used that uh, ceramic spray and sure. I see when I, when I sprayed it on there, I could actually see the the the, the darkness of the black paint coming out when I put sure. that spray on. Like, I actually had to step back and look at my, wow. No, I mean, it's, it's, it actually sure. looked really good when I sprayed it on there. I'm like, this right. stuff is awesome. I can't believe it. It looked that good. And yeah, I, no, it's cool stuff, man. It's definitely uh, definitely a good product. Yeah, and then when the, uh, Soap-wise, I believe I put 
think you call it two to four ounces, I believe, in the foam canning. Yeah. So I, for me, I just like, eh, yeah, I mean, feet. listen, yeah. that, that was a, believe it or not, that was a big argument between me and my partner, Kenny. Because he mm. was like, oh, like two to four ounces is all you need. I was like, fuck that. I was like, half the bottle. I was like, <laughs> I'm throwing this thing up with sun, man. Like, if I'm going for my sons, I'm going all in. So, uh, obviously, it's a lot easier when you own the company and, and you know, it's doing it. But, like, I, I always do at least like a third of the bottle when, when I load up my phone, go to my phone can because I, I want my suds. You know, I'm, I'm a suds guy. Yeah. So I, I put roughly three or four ounces in there and yeah, I have I mean, some pretty thick foam yeah. on there. It was, it's it's going to get the job done. It's just, oh, it was big. you know, <laughs> definitely. I mean, like, neighbors want to come by. Oh, you missed a spy. Foam the shit out of them. You know what I mean? Like, it's great. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Brad wants to know when we're going to be able to sync up again and get you guys maybe to do a whole glove box. The whole box would be synergy, maybe like the remedy box, but whatever. You yeah, guys I mean, mix it uh, up. so let's let's start talking about that soon. Listen, my phone's always always on. I, mean, I, I hear you, right? I know you text me like three in the morning, just asking if I'm up and just if you want to talk and stuff. So I mean, like, <laughs> li li listen, we could definitely do a synergy works box. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, the box, I I'm all for it. You know this. Um, I think it would be cool for you guys and for us. And uh, yeah, I I'm about it. So Sweet. Was it Fred the first that contacted you, or was it Brad that was contacted you? Uh, I did, and then we got Brad Fred, involved. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then we we did some uh, conference talking, and we, we did some uh, some yeah, laughing and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, and and it all came together, and it was good. You know, they they went with the defense spray, and I think which is defense spray, right? Or was it yeah, defense one? spray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, the, at the time though, I think it was the right move to do because it was just a new product, it was different, you know. But they just did like a, a detail spray prior or a so prior. So I didn't want to sit here and be like, hey, like, you know, do it again. Like you don't want to play it out. So with, with his clientele, it made sense to go with that because it was different. And I think people were like, Oh, okay, like who's synergy you work? So let's check them out, like stuff like that, you know. For sure, yeah. No, definitely. Yep. We got there. Nice. Yeah, yeah. you see that see that uh that logo too, right? So all the center yeah. logos, I spent a lot of time with my artists going through. Cause again, like I'm pretty anal and pretty OCD when it comes down to it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I give my artists the, the overall vision. So like I told them this, I want a shield with germs and all that kind of stuff. I felt like that yeah. was the way to I go. So the germs, everything on there. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> so when it comes down to it, I, I tried to flow every product for the same color as far as the label. I wasn't sure if I want to do like an all black label and have no color to it. But after I kind of saw it, everything come together, I have everything going with pink right to the, you know, the actual product color yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. kind of stuff. So, you know, I, I think it made it made a pretty good impact, a pretty good uh, flow, I would say. But, um, you know, there's still, there's still thoughts of me trying to think about changing the label and all that stuff. But I'll tell you what, that, that, was, that was a tough process as far as, uh, what color, what smell, what symbol, the directions, the the sayings. Like, even if you read the sayings, Mike, I don't know if you ever did. Like, I, I the way I wrote those descriptions, I didn't want, like, a regular description like you would read on any other product. I, I made it more personable and something where you could relate to. And, and like, all right, like, this is a real car detailing guy. Like, it's not just some CEO sitting at a desk saying whatever, have somebody write it up, and then you're good. You know, I want to put some life behind it, so... That was it. This guy here checking it from Calgary should have oh, been big Rick. This freaking guy. Yeah, I mean Rick was hyping me up. He was telling me he was gonna be here and then like last night uh, he, he stood me up. That's what I was thinking. Freaking guy. I don't get it. I even shouted him out and everything and, and I, I, like, know, I, I, make it. I was like, bro. At the last minute, thank God Fred's check clear and I was like, that's well, dude, I forget yeah. my you can always count on Fred. You know? <laughs> I'm always <laughs> around. Yeah. Man. I'm kidding. Fred's cool, dude. Fred's good people, hundred percent. Heck yeah. So who's de who's designing your website? Uh, so we're actually gonna redo it because it's not as user friendly as I want it to be. Again, I'm really OCD when it comes down to it, and I could pick apart anything. Unfortunately, it's just a bad trait, I guess you can say. You know, perfectionist is like my worst enemy, kind of thing. Um. But Kenny owns an IT business, so they put it together really nice, and we got it to the point to where it was good. Um, but there's always like some some small kinks that I want to edit and change, and 
it, it's tough, man. It's tough to find somebody reliable to to do a website. Like we have a guy that we're in the workshop right now, and it's, it's not going as smoothly as I wanted it to, but it's getting there. Um, but again, like it's tough to bring people on with a different vision, and, and you know, you know. So it, 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 you're get we're getting there, but what website is definitely again like it's more of a uh, presentation thing. And I always felt we've been lacking a little bit there, but I don't know if I'm being my own critic kind of kind of thing because it's my own. You know, I, I always see everybody else's and like, oh, I want that, I want that, I want, I want that. But um, everyone always tells me, like, hey, it's fine. Like, it gets the point across. We'll put the orders through, no problem. Like, as long as the orders go through and the product shows up, then we got nothing to worry about, you know? So it's been going so good for about two and a half years. So we'll see how it happens. So that's a, I would imagine that's a Porsche that you have there under your soap on the front um, page. Uh, yeah, that's my Porsche. Uh, yours? Yeah, that was my GT3 RS. Nice. So, so I know that, like, the, I, like, I like your bucket, too, because I see your logo on there, but I don't see your buckets yeah. are for sale, no? I'm sorry, the buckets are what? Your buckets. They, yeah. I see your, your wash, your soap and wash bucket there. Yeah. For your bucket method. But I never saw your buckets for sale. You have those for sale? Yeah, no, we have them for sale. They should be right on the website if you go to yeah, shop. Yeah, they're there. Uh, you can find them, uh, money. Tools and accessories, okay. I believe. Yeah, oh, you should, you'll I'll find them right on there. So, yeah, I think buckets is definitely uh, a nice thing to do because when you have, when you, let's say you're detailing somewhere and like you don't want to show up at Home Depot buckets or Ace Hardware buckets and stuff like that. You know, although I've had mine and my fair share of them, you know, but I felt like it was to the point you get a nice blue brim on it, you put the Ascendi Works logo on it, and then it just, it's more of like an eye catchy thing. Like, wow, like, all right, these are. You know, let's say it's a detailer, like, all right, this guy, you know, he's using good stuff. This is what he's using. So, it's all part of the presentation. Yeah, exactly. You know, Jesse used to show up. And he's <laughs> <Ace Harbor laughs> like, I, I used to take him. He used to punt him away. And I told him, don't come, <laughs> here, don't come over here again with those. So, Jesse was actually the motivation behind getting those buckets. So, I, know, I made the mistake of coming up in his house with an Adam's bucket one time. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I was That's what you started with. It is. It is. So, like I said, I'm boys with Matt, Matt over at Adam's. So, I, I only kicked it a little bit, but the Ace Hardware, man, that was freaking gone. <laughs> that's pretty funny. So, who who's related to the model for your shirts? Uh, hold on. It depends. Uh -oh. The shirts. Hold on, let's see. I'm looking at the 3X sweatshirt because I'm a big guy. So 3X. That's. Let me see. Sit on a white car. Looks like. Oh, yeah. No, that's my wife. <laughs> that's your wife. Yeah, that's her. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, wife, and then uh, you got her, her friend Elisa in the other one. So that's them. Is so that your, you know, uh, when you got a good-looking wife, you kind of just put her out there and like. People just want to buy the sweatshirts now. So, yeah, <laughs> 90 degree heat, we're getting orders for sweatshirts. It doesn't make sense, but yeah. <laughs> that picture's working. Yeah, that's pretty funny. That's it. But yeah, that, that's the Porsche in the garage. So, that's, that's my personal garage, too. I mean, when I, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, when I first got this house, the garage was doom. You know, it was doomsday. And, and I would have customers drop off to the house, too, because we work right out of the house as well. And, I got five hundred thousand dollar Lamborghini sitting in the garage, and it looks like it's about to fucking collapse, you know. So, the first renovation I did to the house was the garage because that's what needed to be done in order to create a presentation, you know. And you'll see, I did all the white walls, I did the the marble floor. Um, it could fit three cars in there, no problem. Four cars tight, but three cars you could fit in there. Two cars comfortably for detailing. Like it, it's it's really nice. It's it's paid for itself ten times over at this point. So it's definitely uh worked out great nice so how long have you had your clay bars you got 250 gram bars in uh in yeah there. so we got the uh the gray which is like the fine grade and then you got the red which is a professional grade um fine is gonna be for your newer cars not too terrible that's what the fine grade's gonna be for it's gonna not gonna mar anything the yeah, red yeah. one is more of like the aggressive like the trucks that show up and and the landscaper trucks like hey like can you do it and it's got spots all over it that's what the, the red one's gonna be for and believe it or not you know i said professional quote unquote because usually after that you might have to follow behind with a nice polish just to remove any kind of possible marring but yeah. um it doesn't really mar uh i haven't really had any problems as long as you keep it lubricated and you're not doing it in the heat it's not really marring up um it's definitely uh doing its thing so the clay bar is definitely uh 
definitely nice. So again, like, like I said, we set it all up for the, for the standard detailing process. We don't offer any compounds or polishes or anything like that yet, but I don't think it's going to come into play unless we really take it to the next level because it's not really a popular product. And I feel like a lot of people out there have their set in stone compounds and polishes that, that they use. Sure. I think introducing another one, it would, it might not work. You know what You're I mean? lost so, in the market. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you know, obviously companies like Minzerna, you know, obviously has a great name, Rupes, you know, they're known for that. So yes. to go oh. against somebody like that, I don't think it's, I don't think it makes sense. You know? Well, then on that note, I mean, everyone makes soap and detail spray also, but yeah, sure. a way to stand up through that also. Yeah, I mean, def definitely everyone makes their own soap and detail spray and all kind of stuff. Um, again, when it comes down to it, though, I think it all depends on how you market yourself with that kind of stuff. Uh, it's a little bit easier to market when you have a lot of access to high-end cars and stuff like that. So when they see soap works good on G3 RSs or Bugattis or Lamborghinis, then like, all right, like, let's give it a shot. You know, I think that's one of the little advantages that I have is having that access because I see other companies out there, they put out nice content, but they're doing it with a PT cruiser or a Dodge minivan. You know, it's just, if I'm as a consumer, I might scroll past that one a little bit faster than I would scroll past the Bugatti filled with suds. You know what I mean? Got you. Oh. But Ken's asking, is there any plans of Carzilla setting synergy work products? Um, what is Carzilla? Carzilla is a company in Canada. I would say like no. a distributor of all things car detailing in Canada. I would say no, but if Ken wants to put that contact in and let me know, then Ken, I'm here for it. Rick could help with that too. Rick, yeah, Rick, Rick is so like, me up one, so he owes me now. Yeah. Rick owes me. Rick, if you watch, you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> he does too. Nice. Lakey. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, we uh we have our the PT cruiser with the wood paneling is definitely legit, hundred um, percent. If if more companies use the wood paneling PT cruisers, I think they would definitely move a lot more product. But they make that mistake and, and they use just the paint. So, woody wagons are die. Yeah, hundred percent. So, let me ask you then. So, uh, you get a car in there to detail. And yeah. Say someone pulls in the Lambo. Say, you know, I want this polished up. Take care of it for me. I'll come back tomorrow. Pick it up. Sure. So you use your soap. You use your clay. What do you are you using? What company do you use for a polish? Um, it all depends on what we're doing. But I love Minzerna. Uh, Meguiar's has some strong compound and effective compound. Uh, Rupes. It all depends on the car. It all depends on what it needs. Like for example, I had um, two different Porsches in the garage. Uh, one was a brand new Cayman GTS 4.0. And the other one was a 2017 Macan um, Turbo. Turbo, yeah. And the Macan Turbo, obviously being 2017, 25,000 miles, you need a lot more. I, I call it a level two correction, which is your heavy compound in the beginning, which we use Meguiar's. And then we fall behind with a nice uh, Rupes polish and then strip everything down, alcohol wipe everything, and then add our ceramic coating on top of it. Uh, the GTS, the, the Cayman, that was just a Minzerna 3-in-1 that we did because that, in my opinion, is a very effective product when it comes to doing those kind of one-step corrections especially on newer cars that uh don't have a lot of defects and it saves you on time it's effective it looks good and it's uh it's a good product Different. nice yeah so if i, if I were to release a, a confident polish it would probably be something in couple of a three-in-one but i like it i like it a lot and again like the Minzona name is so known for compound and polishes it's tough to introduce that you know what i mean sure what pads do you guys like a lot? Uh, foam pads, microfiber pads. Um, I'm, I, I haven't found a pad I'm in love with. You know, I feel like sometimes I get new pads and they fall apart or they cake up. And then I get other other microfiber pads and tend to work really good, but they, they don't last that long. You know, so yeah. it's tough, but... You can kind of justify that when you're doing a larger paint correction, you're getting the money for it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people tend to go through the whole cleaning the pad process and all that kind of stuff. I'm usually a one and done kind of guy because the pads are about 15 and 20 bucks. Let's say I use two or three of them throughout the, the detail. But if you're getting 1500 bucks for a detail, you know, plus or minus, depending on what you're doing, 
it's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it all depends on what you're doing. If, if you're doing a basic one step, let's say 500 bucks, then maybe cleaning out those pads is worth it. But if I clean out every single pad that I had, I would have pads all over the house. You know, <laughs> pads everywhere. You might probably be pissed because you washed 100%. It. Definitely. Let me put a mop sink in the garage because I'm tired of you coming into my kitchen. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's bad enough that there's detailing products already all over the house, you know, but every room has like a bottle of defense spray everywhere just in case you never know, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's great. That's one of the things we differ on is I'm, so I'm on like the other end of the spectrum. I'm, I'm a pad washer. Um, yeah, he loves his pad washer. It's time consuming. I, I detail my pads after I detail the cars. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like for me, for me personally, like those those Rupes yellow foam pads are like some of the most resilient things I have in my entire detailing arsenal. Period. Um, sure. They they correct well. They finish well. You know, you can use uh, a compound to a light polish with them, and then you know you you clean them up. I get them dried out, and then they're they're ready for action again. Um, you know, so I'm I'm a big proponent of those Rupes yellow foam pads for sure. Nice. Yep. Where did the, the name Synergy Works come from? Um, so Synergy is two forces are greater than one, right? When I first started Synergy Detailing, <laughs> believe it or not, so our first business name was Show and Tell Detailing, right? So Show and Tell Detailing, four of us did it, and it was going good. <clears throat> one of the guys left to go do whatever he was doing in life, so it was, it was three of us. The third partner ended up just being like a dick, you know, just not putting the work that he should, wanted the same cut, you know, it was to the point where like, dude, we got to have a conversation about this, whatever, and ended up not working out. And, and it's to the point where we were thinking about stopping. And then we, uh, we saw a plate from my GM at the time, one of the dealerships, and it was Synergy. And I was like, what does Synergy mean? And then he explained to me, you know, two forces are greater than one. Me and the owner were two forces. And if we were separate, it might not be as effective as we are together. So I was like, you know what? I was like, me and the existing partner uh, left. We're better than just one force. So Synergy Detailing was the name that it came about. And that's how we started that. And then mm -hmm. when it came time to do the products, I was just shooting off names that flowed well with Synergy. And the word works just flowed right, in my opinion, after the word Synergy and Synergy Works came about. So uh, I don't think the word works has any relation to detailing. Um, but again, I think I thought it just sounded nice, and it's got that X in it, where I felt like it's a little attractive, I guess, to the car industry, and been working. So, you, synergy detailing is still a, in operation. Oh yeah, yeah. And is there, and you still have that partner on that side also? Yeah. And you have a different partner. Well, from actually, let me, let me explain. Um, that partner eventually went on to start his life as well. Mm -hmm. So when that happened, I was, oh, I was like by myself, you know, it's tough to find hard work. You know, you got Jesse, but he just doesn't do what he's supposed to do. You know what I mean? It's just like, it is what it is. Right, just, you know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, so anyway, at the time though, when it was happening, this is five years ago, let's say five, six years ago. Um, my wife always helped me. My girlfriend at the time always helped me detail my cars. And I thought to myself, I was like, you know what? I was like, not for nothing. If we detail together, we could just bring all the income to us this time, you know? So let's say it's 500 bucks instead of splitting it two or three ways, 500 bucks goes right into the safe or the bank account. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And took it and ran with it. You know, she does the bottom parts of the car. I do the top parts of the car because I'm tall and I'm old and she's young and nimble, you know, <laughs> now we're two years apart, but um, I'm lazy maybe. <laughs> but uh, she, you know, she'll do the wheels and tires. She'll do the side skirts. She'll do the bumpers. I'll do pretty much everything She'll do the interior. You know stuff like that. So she'll do like the woman like things, and I'll do the more, the manly like things as far as reaching out to the top, and she'll handle the interior. She got that woman's touch, and it works along real real nice. And we've been killing it ever since. And then we were doing really good. We were getting busier to the point we had to get on some more help and stuff like that. That's where I found Jesse. I found a couple other kids that we that we uh, have have to go to as far as helping us out. Um, and the kids came along a couple years ago as well. Freaking kids. And that was, again, to the point we had to find, you know, reputable help in order to help us out. Because I'm one of those guys where how do I trust somebody going to somebody with 
uh, SVJ or an F12 TDF, a 918 Spider or a Bugatti or a McLaren P1. How do I trust somebody that I don't really know just to go to those and do the same kind of job? You know what I mean? It's just never going to happen. But thankfully, like I said, I did find guys like Jesse in all seriousness. He definitely does what he does. That's why he's sitting next to me. Um, a couple other guys, DJ, uh, for Dean, Kevin, and some other guys that helped me out. Um, they definitely do what they got to do to help me out when the time comes. And that's why I've been able to keep it going the way I have been. Because, like I say, I manage a dealership at the same time we have synergy works and then we have synergy detailing so it's to the point where i had to get some extra help to uh keep it going mm. yeah so you stand busy then fortunately yeah i mean like i said we literally finished the coding five minutes before i jumped on this so <laughs> we're, we're, we're going that's great where do you see uh now that covid i think in new york is pretty much opening up over there yeah how do you see yourself you know, doing the rest of this year and, and 2022? Uh, well, we have the auto show actually is a thing that is official now. I think it's late August. So I think we're going to make our return back into the auto show, which will be huge. Um, mm -hmm. It all depends on how things play out. It's just, unfortunately, we used to do the dub show. You know, I'm sure everybody's familiar with that in one of those bigger shows. And it was a sure. three-day show. It was, it was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And when we first did that in 2019, it was great. We profited really nice. We made our name. It was all good. 2020, we had it all set up to do bigger and better. And unfortunately, COVID happened, so that sucked. And now this year, they actually stopped the dub show, but they're going to do the actual show. But they want to set us up next to, like, like the custom section that they're setting up. They want to put it next to, like, the Ford EcoBoost section, which yeah. is, like, electric cars. And, like, I'm still trying to determine if that's worth it or not because I feel like a lot of people are not going to go over there because of that section. You know what I mean? But – Let's say I show up, like I have a customer who has a 765, a Senna, and a P1, all bright orange. I'm thinking if I brought all three of those and left the doors open, I might be able to get some attention. So, you know, it, but again, I have to, that's also 10 days versus three days. So it's more time, it's more money, more dedication. So I, I got to kind of write it all down and see if it makes sense. And if it does, then um, that'll be the next big move as far as the show. Are you guys going to visit SEMA at all? Uh, SEMA is definitely something i want to do i've never been myself actually um again it's tough enough to set up in the javits center yeah, yeah, yeah. only an hour away from us the fact that we would try to do it in sema i would really need to dedicate some time to it and i don't think we're ready yet to do it you know what i mean like i want to don't get me wrong but it's got to make sense you know what i mean like it's, it's got to be right Got it. So, your chemist now, did he come up with, or is he working on the, uh, uh oh, there it is. Back. Is he working on the Forza, or is that the uh, other person working on the Forza, or is it combined together? What's Forza on? was our original chemist that came into it. Um, we set it all up, and like I said, we put it together, we got the bottles, we got the labels, we set it all up after the testing, and it's been going really good. You know, we, we have a lot of, uh, when I was in the in the business, I just made relationships with all other kind of car guys on, on the island, you know, different companies, different detailing companies, stuff like that. And we probably made relationships with about 20 other shops on the island. And when it came down to it, I put the word out there and said, hey, we got this new coding coming out, crafting coding. And a lot of people are loving it. You know, some people are, are dedicated to whatever they're using, and I can't get their mind off it, which is fine. I'm not going to sit here and and force anybody to hold the gun, except Jesse. I literally have a gun to him right now um, to use it. But as far as using these products, I always told these guys, like, hey, listen, you know, like, you know who I am. I'm going to put out good stuff and, like, whatever. So I would say the majority of them did jump on our product as far as the coding, and they're in love with it. You know, they're doing good, and... I originally released it as a professional use product only, only available to professional details, all that kind of stuff. But so many people were asking, and I felt like it was only right to do that. And again, as I said in the beginning of the stream, that the products that we have are good enough for consumers and surpass expectations of professional detailers. So I felt like it was the right move to do as far as uh, releasing it to everybody. So... I'm kind of stumped on this a little bit. So you have graphene in your ceramic coating. 
So, but, so ceramic it's coating, it's, it's a ceramic coating. Yeah. It's graphene technology, it's called. Okay. So the graphene is infused within the ceramic coating itself. Now, you can't just have a graphene coating. It's impossible. The, the chemistry just doesn't work. Yeah. But you can tap that graphene uh, technology into the ceramic coating itself. So pretty much what it is, it's pretty much the easiest way to explain it. It's the boost of taking a ceramic coating. It's going to give it that much more of protection and longevity and, and hydrophobicness. It's that extra step up as far as from the ceramic coating. So like I said earlier in stream again, it's one of those things where people are going to be like, that's bullshit. And then after they look at it and then eventually I bet you in a couple of years from this stream right now, graphing will be one of those things where it's like, got to have graphing coding. Got to get it. Got to get, it, you know? So, and, and this just, in my opinion, one of the things that ceramic coating lacks that graphene is better at is water spotting. Sure. And graphene prevents water spotting pretty well. More resistant. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So how does yours compare to water spotting? So again, when it comes to sprinklers and if it gets rained on, you just totally forget about it. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. I don't care if you have graphene coating. I don't care if you have the Avengers come in and protect it. Like it's just, it's, it's going to happen. Water spots are the, are just the worst, but it's more resistant. Like I said, preventing, and I, th I think preventing and resistance are two different things that people get a lot more, a lot mixed up. Yeah. Water spots are going to happen if you don't attend to it the right way. Yeah, for sure. If you, get rained on, you get home and you take the proper steps. Oh, let me just blow the car off quick or just dry quick. Then you're going to be fine. But if you drive home and the next day there's water still on the car and 95 degrees out, it's baking, you know, you have more of a chance of that kind of stuff happening. But again, if you stay on top of it and you're, and you're there, then it's going to be more resistant and just a little easier on yourself when it comes to maintaining it. So that's, that's what that is. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I, I'm a big realist kind of guy. Like I, I don't like to sell anything or, or offer any kind of service that sounds too good to be true. Sounds because be a lot true. of details out there that, hey, ceramic hey, coat, 25 coats on it. It's going to be resistant to, to rock trips. You know, you're know, you not going to get any rock chips. You can throw a brick out of your yeah. It's like, no, nah, it's like, yeah, it's unfortunately, but that's the kind of world that we live in. So how, uh, you guys are coming out with the one gallon and five gallon Jugs now is that basically for your local? Mental? Yeah, so we we have the gallons of most of the popular products. We have the five gallons of, of the popular products of those. Um, your ceramic detail spray, your car shampoo, your all-purpose cleaner, you know stuff like that is available in gallons and five gallons. Um, then we have gallons for pretty much everything else because a five gallon of ceramic detail spray would be big money, and I think just not needed. Uh, tire shine five gallons of because a lot of these products do tend to last a long time. The products that move the move the, the quickest, the fastest, the Supreme Suds, the Detail Spray, um, the wheel cleaner. Those those you're using more frequent. When it comes to tire shine, ceramic soap, interior detail, you're not going to use as much, which is why we pretty much offer it in certain sizes for those kind of reasons. So let me ask you. So I'm looking on your website. Yeah. And for the people that are watching, if, if they wanted to go try something out, but I see something on there that even if I never heard of Synergy Works and I wanted to try something, this would be a good idea. I'm glad you guys did it. Is you have a four ounce sample pack. You yeah. got 10 different yeah, products in there for 40 bucks. Yeah, we're currently out of that right now because everybody cleaned us out of that because it was that popular. You know, oh, wow. like where people clean us out. But yeah, we, we are going to restock that in the near future. Again, hey, what a Synergy Works. Try our four-ounce sample kit. Give it a shot. When you love it, you can get the, the bigger stuff. So approximately, what's the timeline of you guys getting those back in stock? Uh, unfortunately, finding those four-ounce bottles are a lot tougher since everything happened. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much the holdup. So once that happens, I, I would say within a month or two at, at most, I would think. But it's it's been on our radar. It only went out of stock you know, maybe a couple weeks ago. And... That's have you guys cool. ever thought about doing uh, mystery boxes? Where like I don't know, I fixed a box. We thought about that, but I thought yeah. Fred was the king of mystery boxes, so we might just leave it to him. You know what I mean? As Fred's long as a mystery he, period. As long as he, I am. <laughs> as long as he doesn't forget about me and he uses us, then then I, I don't know. I mean, maybe um, I, I like the idea of it, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of like Fred's kind of thing. You know what I mean? Well, I mean. 
Yeah. I talked to we we talked to Extreme Solutions into it. They actually sure. they actually sold out a, a, a shit ton of stuff when they did it. Yeah. Uh, but the one thing I like about it is maybe come up with the idea of maybe doing it maybe Fourth of July, Black Friday. Yeah. yeah any, any type of holidays that come up, we always try to like feed into it and give some mm-hmm. kind of Father's Day special, July Fourth special, or Halloween special, if even you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, we always try to put it out there, and we're big into giving back too because a lot of these detailers, you know, they're they're real people, regular people, and and I think they deserve to get good products at good pricing. Like even when COVID happened, mm-hmm. we did a fifty percent off sale. Um, I don't think anybody else did that. We did it pretty much because we saw a lot of people are going to be home, bored out of their mind. Money's going to be tight. You know, people are getting laid off. People are losing their jobs. People are on, on leave, whatever the case may be. We thought it was the right thing to do by doing 50% off off store-wide. And um, it was great. We got a good response. And it, it was cool. It, it was cool. I thought it was nice to give back, if you could say that's giving back to the car community. And For sure. That's how it went down. So, yeah, we definitely uh, put our put our part into uh, doing some nice discounts and I think we always have like a ten or fifteen percent special on the top of the website already. Like, yeah, you guys have fifteen right now, so yeah. yeah so sure. we we always try to give a little bit, you know what I mean. Um, but then holidays season definitely uh, tends to give a little bit more. So currently, at the moment, towel wise, you only have the regular just the make it, regular microfiber towels. Yeah, or drying so towels. Yeah. Like that. yeah, we had to source those out to other countries, unfortunately. Um, Again, with COVID, it's been a nightmare as far as getting that kind of stuff. Hold on, mm-hmm. yeah. okay. um, it's been a nightmare as far as getting that kind of stuff. We had, which we're going to get back, our super drying towel, which is sick. Um, I think, give me a pair. Can you actually get and grab one? There should be one open one inside there. Um, a super drying towel is sick. It's huge. Like, you could use it on three cars, no problem, without rigging it out. Awesome. What? The quality is wow. sick. I'm going to bring one in. Um, and then, and Jesse, grab a, a regular one too, please. Um, and then we have the regular one, which does the job too. But usually, what I would do is use like the super drying towel first, and follow behind with the smaller one just to get whatever's left behind. Yeah. But, um, but like here, I'll show you. Knock shit over now, Mike. Um, so pretty much, this is your your regular one. It's it's your thin material, double sided. You know. Oh, that's nice. I don't know how. It's so big it. though, that thing's sizable. Yeah, so th- this is this is long and big, but it's thin. You know, it's very thin. So the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The drying towel. It's, I don't know if you could tell on stream, but it's thick though. It's oh yeah, it's half oh, no, yeah. But it's soft though. It's very soft as far as like when you're putting on this delicate paint, you're not going to scratch anything off. But it's freaking. It's huge though. I mean. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, oh you can't, what is it like so three feet so by four feet? Yeah, it's definitely. It's like a, a, it's like a blanket. blanket. Yeah, Jesse sleeps yeah. with it at night. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, like it's. It's it. like Linus. Yeah, and there's little any, huh? This, this this one's the real deal. Like, if you're gonna, if you're someone who likes towels, you know, and you like having all different types of towels, like, is not one for you. If you like simplicity, like, this is the one. This is the towel to have. You know, when like in my business, I I tell people all the time, like, I'll I'll take two Chevy Tahoes back to back, and I'll run over it with this one towel. Like, not only is it super thick and more plush than the regular drying towel, but it's dual nap. So you have the drying fibers on both sides as compared to the regular drying towel, yeah, which yeah. is just a single nap. Yeah, I see a lot of people have something like this. So those are the they're they're double loop, yeah? Yeah, so a lot of people offer something like this, which is fine. Um, but I think what we're going to do is just offer that one because although it's a $15 price difference, it blows it out of the water. Like, no pun intended. But sure. it, it's something where it's like people are like yelling at us like showing up at my house knocking the door like where are the super drying towels i'm like listen like ever since covid i'm i'm trying people you know home I mean? washing like, their cars now you know what i mean so i'm like listen like it is what it is you gotta you gotta bear with me but yeah a lot of companies out there definitely offer a drying towel but i, I haven't really seen i I've even seen promotions on instagram for like other kind of drying towels and stuff i haven't seen something like that though like that that thing is sick like it's just awesome so when the time comes that would be uh one of the go-to's but um again so we got those Microfibers, we got uh, really high quality microfibers as far as detailing goes. Um, I use this for pretty much everything. Windows, paint, ceramic coatings, 
removing compound, removing polish, uh, wheels, interior even. This is my favorite towel all around. And I know a lot of people have different microfibers for everything. We, we do have an all-purpose microfiber as well, oh, which is... It's That's the one I see on your website there. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. it's what we have right now. So uh, again, microfibers, is all, they're all coming from the same spot. So it's it's been a little bit of a pain in the ass. But this will be something for like engine bays, um, door jams, interiors, uh, wheel wells, exhaust pipe, pit, uh, exhaust tips. This will be like one of those towels that it's cheaper. You know what I mean? Like that you don't have to worry about getting dirty. This is more of your higher quality one. So we're working on getting uh, enough of these and then the super drying towels back because those are definitely the more popular and, and good quality stuff. So the blue ones, I, I, I'm only finding those with the detail spray kit. Yeah, so again, we're, we're running pretty low on microfibers and drying towels right now. Um, I don't want to just settle for anything. Yeah. I, I want that. And to find that, you have to jump through hoops, um, especially with what's going on as far as the, uh, the COVID situation. Believe it or not, it's, it's, still, it's still a thing across seas for that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's just been a pain, unfortunately. But um, it is what it is. We're, we're rolling with it. You know, people are being patient and, and thankfully not sending me death threats yet. You know, so it's uh, it's working out. <laughs> yeah, thank God, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Can your uh, waterless wash be used as a rinseless wash? Um, I've used it before. I love rinseless wash. I don't have a dedicated rinseless wash. I've used it before, but I don't really have a lot of situations where I do rinseless wash. Yeah. Um, can it be used for it? Definitely. Um, but I'm more of a, a wash type of guy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what I I only have a um, one customer that lives in the city. Uh, he's actually got like sick cars, like Bugatti, SLR, McLaren, like sick. And he doesn't have a hose in his parking garage. So what I have to do is bring rinseless car wash, we'll use the waterless wash, get that all down. Pretty much, I bring uh, two to three buckets of water, yeah, and mix it in there with your microfibers, and it acts as a washing agent. You just have to use common sense and, and be patient with it because you can't just slap it on dirt and expect nothing to happen. But sure, as long as you treat it nice, treat it with respect, then it, you'll get the same results as you would washing it. Is it pretty tough in New York with the uh, with water and and runoffs and stuff? They just don't care. Nah. Nah, we're not California. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any water right here. <laughs> can't take it all. Yeah. We're in a, we're in a major drought right yeah, now. Yeah, nah, New York's cool. I mean, there's dead bodies in the water over here, so I think they'll be all right with some soap, you know what I mean? The 22 do do says the Synergy Works have a Tramp Restore product. A uh, Tramp Restore product? Um, restoring, I mean, we, we use... Uh, like Jesse mentioned earlier, you can use your tire shine on it, like the windshield cowl, your window trim around, I'm sorry, your uh, wheel well tr trim, stuff like that, your wheel well. Uh, you can use that because it does leave behind a nice satin dry finish after it's cured. So it's not going to be like glossy to the touch and like get all like all over your fingers. Um, so that's what I would use to restore it. I, I, I never really had any good experience with restoring plastics. I feel like that's kind of just like a gimmick because I feel like once a plastic's faded, it's faded. Mm -hmm. Um so I, I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to restore your plastics, but we'll give it some shine and, and give it some cover. Then, yeah, definitely, 100%. Good for touching up. You yeah. know, if you're, if you're going out somewhere, um, you know, you, we want it to look nice. If you're going to be taking some pictures or something, like, yeah. definitely grab some of this. Like Nick said, the, the plastic wheel arches, it's good for. Yep. Uh, all my engine bay details, I top the engine plastics off with this. Uh, front bumper pieces. Um, but it's not, it's not a pigmented product. You know, like some of the other things out there, like what Cerakote does, or, or what uh, like Solution Finish is is trying to do. Um, but it'll it'll at least give you something for a little while. So maybe a week worth of something, maybe. Yeah, give or take. I mean, context is important. Like, what are you doing with it for that week? Are you taking it out? Are you are you going mudding with it? You know, is it are you putting it on your Jeep fenders and then taking it through the trees? Like. You know the experience is probably going to be short lived, but you know if you're touching up something and then it's going to go sit in the garage, then yeah, you're going to be able to stretch that that look a little bit longer. Nice. So you got it. Go ahead, Mike. No, you're good, dude. And so, 
are you the one that basically runs all the Instagram, the promotions, the answering all the phone calls? Are you the customer service? You're you're the are you everything there? Um, I would say I'm more of like the face of it, uh, the marketing as far as the Instagram posts and stuff like that. Uh, Kenny does more of the background marketing and the more tech savvy type stuff. Uh, we do have a couple guys that work for us that handle the customer service part, uh, the shipping, the allocations, the boxing, the labeling, like all that kind of stuff. Um, in the beginning it was, but it was to the point where I'm so busy with everything, we had to bring on extra work, uh, extra uh, employees to pretty much get that going. So um, there's about five or six of us that are pretty much going right now. Uh, as far as everybody puts a part into it, my wife helps, Kenny and his wife, or his girlfriend, whatever. Um, we pretty much all play a part in it, and it comes along nice. I mean, I want to get to the point where we're going to have more employees and build a business up to the point where we can change some people's lives, maybe, and make a nice business together. But uh, not, not yet. It, it's, it's coming, though. So you, you said talk about marketing. He does back the backside of marketing. Can you explain what's the difference between what you do on marketing and what he does on the backside of marketing? Yeah, so pretty much the face of it, right? You got your Facebook, which I'm not really a believer in anymore. I, yeah. I feel like it's just not doing its thing anymore. I feel like it's just so saturated and it's just tunnel vision. It's just it's played out. Um, Instagram is big. It, it's definitely uh, starting to die down a little bit, in my opinion. But I have my own personal Instagram, Synergy Detailing, which I use for detailing. I use my Synergy Works. I use my personal life. Um, that I do more of like cell phone type pictures, but like nice quality cell phone pictures. You know, I, I, I try to, I spend a lot of time putting my pictures together. But Synergy Works, from day one, I really dedicated the whole look to professional pictures. You know, I have professional photographers come in, um, professional videographers, all the kind of stuff. So if you go through the Synergy Works Instagram, you could tell that I really took some time to pretty much put that together. And, and I spent a lot of money doing that. Um, as far as the background, you have your, your mail leads and you have your email leads and you have your website and, and your Google and all that kind of stuff. That's where Kenny takes care of as far as uh, that kind of marketing. So I, I have the funner side. You do. Yeah. So if, like, if you go to the Instagram, You'll see like the McLaren, the Lamborghini, the uh, whatever else is on there. It's all like high quality, good focus pictures that I I take a lot of time to post a picture. Unfortunately, like I'll, I'll like hang up this feed right now, and it'll take me like two hours to decide what to post and what to write. And like I'm <laughs> looking so OCD. I spend so much time doing. Like Jesse will even tell you. Like Jesse see me in the moment. Like you should have seen him doing his makeup before. We oh got my god, I was freaking. I had to do it so fast before because we only have so much time, but. You know, I, I, re I really make sure, like, the car is centered. I make sure the product looks good. Um, you know, like, I, I feel like I've probably spent more time on it than I should. But when I scroll through it, I think it looks really good. You know what I mean? Like, I want people to see that we take our time to put those pictures together. And hopefully uh, it leads to sales. So what's your, your Synergy Detail? Is that, That's the your other one? Uh, Synergy Detailing. Yeah, that's my... Uh, that's my personal, I guess you can say, in my, in my detailing one. Um, that's what that is. So if you go And then this one, one here is just Synergy Works USA? Synergy Works USA, yeah. So you can see, like, the Synergy detailing is, is good pictures, like good centering and all that kind of stuff and editing and all that. But those are cell phone pictures, you know? But if you if you go to um, the Synergy Works one, those are, like, high-quality uh, photography pictures. Yeah. Just run it across the bottom. So yeah. The people can mess it up because it wrong across the bottom so if they go to the Instagram oh, nice. look up both of those and follow both that's it there we go you guys run contests on Instagram uh actually I'm thinking about doing one this week as oh, yeah? I mentioned that, yeah, so I'm probably gonna do one of those uh, Remedy you know, packs? follow follow Synergy Works, you know, tag this guy, you know, whatever. Or, well, I don't know, I gotta write it up, but again, it'll probably take me a week to write it up because that's how I want to make sure it's perfect. But yeah, I, I was I was going through my pictures the other day and I was like, wow, it's been a while since I, I did a nice contest, so I think I'm gonna put put a good couple of products together and put it out. 
So, and I, I would imagine you've used every Synergy work product there is there, I would imagine. Yeah, no, I've definitely uh, tried a couple times. Okay, so, uh, so let me ask you this. Uh, if you were, when you, when, you, when you pass away and you're going six feet under and you're allowed to take one product with you. Detail spray. Detail spray? Got to make sure my coffin looks good and it smells good. You know what I'm <laughs> like, listen, like, the blue detail spray, in my opinion, is my favorite product because I use it for freaking everything. You know, like post detail, before delivery to the customer, cleaning up wheels, cleaning up fender wells, cleaning up door jams, cleaning up the engine bay. There's so many things that this product can be used for. It's such a good product. You know, like it's just really good. You know, you, your compound is something you got to, you know, left behind some compound, hit it with some detail spray, boom. Um, it, it's just a really nice product. Uh, there's nothing else to really say to it. You know, it's very easy to use. It's it's that's the one, definitely. Have you uh, in, have you teamed up with anybody besides the insurance company to work with on on a daily basis to where you know they call you up and say hey I need more of this specific product so I um, just other resellers and stuff like that um, detailing connect uh, the mystery boxes. You know other other businesses stuff like that so no, nothing else i would say as big as that um i don't think there's much out there that can do something like that i, I would think i would think fred and the glove box uh would probably be the next biggest because their reach and, and they're putting out you know 500 boxes plus or minus and you know i, I would say it's probably the next biggest as far as um doing something like that definitely have you thought about doing like uh, AutoZone or O'Reilly's or stuff like that? I mean, obviously, I thought about it, but mm -hmm. we got approached by some business that was going to put us into it, and like the whole deal was. By the time we were done doing it, um, it was like we were making like five percent on on the whole deal, and I was, yeah, like, wow. I was like, "Yeah, like it's it's not worth it." You know what I mean? Like I'm not. No, gonna, I'm you know, yeah, I was like, "Yeah, I was like, we're not gonna go through that." So. You know, if 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 a door opened at some point where it made sense, then um, yeah, one hundred percent. You know, like I, I guess we would entertain it. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't think that door is going to be open for a while because I don't even know where to go for that, and it's not really something on my priority list. I, I'm more of like, uh, I want the Freds, I want the Mikes. You know, like those kind of people I want right now. Yeah, if you ever you need your uh, you to get your website redone you again, the Freds has connections on getting websites done. I, I mean. Definitely, that's great. I might even put like a section like for Fred, like Fred section only. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Fred, Fred is like it, Fred would be like a, a a good like a brother to have because the guy's got his hands in everything. Yeah. And if he doesn't have his hand there, he knows where the hands are at. To get yeah, hundred percent. I don't know if you guys ever see uh, Two Guns with uh, Mark Wahlberg and and uh, Denzel, Denzel Washington. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever seen that? No, I haven't seen that. Oh, dude, you gotta watch it. But this is guy. It's like I know a guy, Bobby. Knows a guy for everything. That's who Fred is. Yep, that's me. <laughs> that's, well, it's kind of like what you said earlier. It's that as much as what you know, it's who you know. Yeah, I'm a big advocate of that. And, you know? and I know a little bit. But I also know a lot of people. So it's kinda, yeah, it works out, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. So we are. I'm barking for this mouse. This is barking. <laughs> my dogs. Are I have my bulldog, which is always like by my side. Yeah. I have a black lab, which I'm afraid to even come out of anything. Yeah. I got one barking in the house, so this one's barking at that one because that one's barking. <laughs> yeah, I got, uh, there is he. He's two over here. I got my guard dogs over here, too. Oh, I see a dog. Oh, yeah, I see. yeah, they're chilling. Hang on. Right? <laughs> yeah, and then, then you got Taz, the Yorkie, right here. He's uh, he's yeah, the dog dog, actually. He, he's, he's the one to be he afraid of. Show. That's the ankle buster, huh? Yeah, Jax will just run up to you. <clears throat> like, yeah, you know? So. That's what's going on uh, going on over here. My, my bulldog will come up barking at full force right at you, and then drop her toy and slobber all over you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's better than getting your ass beat, but that's it. So that's cool. Yeah, man. So uh, that's uh, that's pretty much pretty much it. It's who we are, you know, we're simple dudes and we're car guys, and that's uh, what we're about. That's good. Well, at least you got to tell everybody. What you guys are and what you guys are all about and products and how everything comes along that's pretty cool i like that 
Yeah, definitely, man. No, I appreciate you guys bringing us on. You know, the world's famous Mike's Auto Detailing. You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> no, fact that I had this opportunity. You know, like listen, you know, ABC called me and I turned that down. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, listen, Mike's my guy. So I appreciate that's, uh, you. That's what I had to stick with, you know? I appreciate it. That's it. So, so maybe in about six, eight months from now, we'll do it again. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'll, I'll do it every night if you really want me to. I mean, you know, it is, it is what it Absolutely. is. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm down. Every, every six months, you know, say what's up 100%. Yeah. Check in, see what's going for on. Sure. Get, them, get them towels back in, hopefully, because I'll yeah, take yeah. Them. No, sure. definitely. We'll get you. We'll get you some over. Maybe maybe we'll have you uh, drying off a car on the stream, so that way people can see. Uh, oh yeah, what the word is you know. For sure, yeah. Yeah, because okay, I'm sitting in my garage and now, with my new garage, it's a three car garage. But when I back it in, the two two car side, I turn the car sideways in. Yep. So this is long ways, and I mean, I got so much freaking room here. Yeah. I can't see my trucking. Yeah. I'm working with. Hold on. Hold on. I hope I don't lose you. But uh. Are we getting a shot tour? Oh, uh, it's just this is my personal garage. Oh, nice! Let's see the rides. So that's pretty much what we're working Man. with. Some nice gloss. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, sweet. That had, that had the coat. That little Sanjo sitting over there. What's that? That little Sanjo sitting over there. A little what? Pressure washer. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's my uh, that's my two hundred, three hundred buck pressure nice. washer. I I'm not a fan of of pressure washers. Unfortunately, I'm just not a fan of it because uh. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk around a little bit, but um, I don't like the whole setup and, and assemble process. It's just not a fan. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's big. It gets the job across. You know, but uh, when when the time comes, when I have cars here, we can fit like three uh, three cars in here, park no problem, and we could fit uh, two cars in here, detail no problem. So it's uh, it's cool stuff. Yeah. But uh, that's it. Is that the wife's car? Or is that your car? Uh, no, that's a customer's car. The wife's car is actually outside. Oh, <laughs> so that that's the uh, that's the Ram and the RS six over there. So nice. That's yep. So that's uh, that's what we're doing over here. It's chilling. Yes, sir. But uh, yeah. So let's definitely do it. Uh, you know, six months again. I'm definitely down. I'm I'm in. Oh yeah, yeah sweet. All right. I'll be right around Christmas time, so maybe you'll have something big coming. I'm in. I'm in. Definitely. Heck yeah. We'll, uh, hopefully, you have all the talent. Hopefully, you get the outfit and Mike's on the, in the, in the outfit. <laughs> and I'm not doing it. And hopefully, you have a mystery box made up by then. Yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll time it around the same time. Heck yeah. That'd be sweet. So, yeah. We'll right after, right after, uh, either right before Black Friday or right after. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, that that would actually be uh, really cool because we'll probably have a special going. You know, Fred will have his uh, send you our glove box with you. Yeah, for sure. sure. Yeah, of, of every single send you part that we offer. It's very nice of you, Fred. Um, <laughs> and uh, the and the yeah. glove the glove box crate, not the yeah, exactly. not box. Would be the, <laughs> yeah, five hundred dollars box, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Fred, yeah, yeah. Really appreciate you helping us out. Of course, man. And, uh, <laughs> that's it. So. Yeah, man, I'm 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 all about. That's free. That's well, all right. Uh, appreciate it, uh, Fred. Appreciate you coming in. Of course, Mike. Anytime, um, man. Next week, I'm going to have Lex Garage, supposedly uh, Rick from Rack Garage. Yeah. Okay. Rick. It's going to be back, supposedly, <laughs> and uh, Lex just bought a car. Yeah. With, uh, uh, Impersonated cars from the Fast and Furious, uh, from the first, his, first from the first yeah, movie. That's, that's his new build. Yeah, that's, that's his new build. So yeah. we can talk about that next week. Uh, they got line lot lot lined up from July. It's going to be busy. August is busy. With Fred's other hand, he's got we got lithium coming up in August. Uh, proper detail company. They do the detail brushes. I got them in July. Nice. Attention, to detail, attention to detail. Chelsea's in July. Busy man. Busy, busy. Well, once a week is all we do. It's once a week. I got a video dropping out tomorrow. It'll be out at midnight tonight, Pacific Center time. There you go. And, and it'll be the first detail in the new garage. So nice. And uh, Humberto, if you watch it long enough, you'll see Harley. I'm not gonna tell you what at where it's at because I'll make you watch the whole thing because uh, she's in there. <laughs> so Good stuff, man. 
So I appreciate you guys. I'm going to end the I'm gonna end the stream. When I end the stream, we'll be backstage. We'll still be here, but nobody will be able to see what's going on. So I'm going to end that stream on the note. All right, we'll see cool you guys. next weekend. Thanks, everybody.